So long story short, I took a header off of a scooter because I hit a curb at like 18 mile an hour. Yeah. And you used Scorpion? That's that's what I'm told. (laughs) You don't even remember it? I don't remember it, really. So hence, that's why I shouldn't have been on a scooter. And what's funny is I have a ring, or not ring, but uh, what is that called? Blink. I have a Blink camera video, which I'll... <laughs> oh whoopsie! I did help her puss are mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey everybody, welcome to this episode of K Love You Bice. Hey guys! Hey guys! Hey guys! Episode 45 this time. Episode 45. 45, ooh, almost ooh, a 50. That Halfway rhymes to with 100. Get your job. 45. Get your job on 45. Get your job. 45. Get your job on 45. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. We didn't plan that. That was. Uh, That's just our synchronizings. That was all fucking. No plan. What was? What's the word for that? Uh, synchronizing. No, no. The. Like when they do. Uh, Synchronized swimming? No, when they do like acting and shit, but there's no script. Oh, it's uh, well, there's a couple. You said like ad libbing, or or there's a word. Um, there's a word I'm thinking of. Uh, it's kind of like acapella. Yeah, but for like you're, you're like totally fucking me up right I'm now. Getting you. What's the word? It's uh, improv. Improv. Yeah, Jesus, I was like, what the fuck is it? It was impromptu. It was. Improv. It was improv. impromptu. That's what I was thinking. In, yeah. in my noodle. In his noodle. First thing I want to talk about is Rusty Lids. Rusty Lids. <laughs> Head on over to Rusty Lids. Check out their full selection of patch hat combos. Like this one I'm wearing here that says Big Debra. Big Debra. Or this one right here that says Assault Rifle. Yep. They got everything you ever want for fucking cool hats. Go check them out. Use uh, promo code K love. No, nope. or no, no. Pro- love you. Promo code love. Doesn't even you. know his own promo code. What an <laughs> idiot. Love, love you with a you. U. Capital U. Doesn't matter with capitals. It doesn't, Just but do it. Love letter U. Love you. Check. Them I out. thought this one was fitting, Rusty considering Lids. I shot Colby in the eye with a salt rifle or salt gun. Yeah, you're you're a dick. I'd never shoot you with something. You literally shot me later that day with the assault rifle. But did I do it in the face? No, because I didn't allow you the opportunity. Yeah, see. You shot me in the back of the neck, shooting though. Shooting people in the face, speaking of, I shot brother cousin one time in the neck with a paintball gun, point blank on accident. Yeah. He was not a fan. How'd that go down? I was like, hey, is this loaded? <laughs> that's <laughs> right in the neck. That's how every accident starts. Is this loaded? <laughs> he, was, he was so mad. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. That would hurt. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. I got shot point blank right in the back of the head with one once by my own teammate. Because we were actually at a paintball field. Oh, you were actually playing paintball? Yeah. And some fucking idiot behind me shot me right in the back of the fucking head. <laughs> and fucking rung my bell good. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sneak attacking people with a paintball gun when, like, they're defenseless is the best shit. In the oh, world. yeah. Yeah, fuck them. We, uh, we were playing paintball at a brother cousin's place when we were in high school. And my cousin Calvin was with us, and we had a whole group of guys. And my uncle comes out and he goes, Hey, boys, time to eat. I'm not dinner made. So we're like, Oh, okay, let's head up to the house. So we're walking up, and he's got this shit eating green on his face. And we're like, The fuck's going on? Pulls a paintball gun out from behind his back and lights us up. <laughs> Mind you, he had no idea what a paintball gun was or how bad it hurt to get hit with one. Mm-hmm. He thought it was like, like a splash of like a, like a Nerf gun or something, right? Yeah. He starts fucking us up with this fucking <laughs> full on of automatic fucking. <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and Calvin was dip, dive, dodge, duck, and dodge. And dip. <laughs> Dude, he fucking, he was like, huh, who, who? And he ducked, fucking ducked right into one, took it right in the mouth. Oof. Dude. Both of his lips looked like he was fucking one of the Kardashian girls. <laughs> it was terrible. Oh, God. Yeah. I got hit in the ass and in the leg. and Ass hurts. 
Dude, and we were so close that it was like, it was, it wasn't fair. Yeah. And we got ambushed. Ambushed. We should have had our fucking thinking caps on a little straighter because he fucking. Who was that that shot you? My own, Ryan's dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He, and then, then he felt bad after he saw Calvin's mouth, like, looking like a fucking one of the Kardashian <laughs> girls, you know? Yeah. He's like, holy fuck, I didn't know those did that. And we're like, yeah, that's why we ran away. <laughs> So then uh, he's like, all right, I'll let you guys pay back. I'll let you shoot me. So he goes and he puts on like sweatpants and like plumps himself up, puts on a <laughs> life jacket and a mask. And he stands like 120 yards away from us. Like, all right, you, that's good. You can shoot me from there. And we're like, so not, we're not the same. Then he's like, each one of you get 10 shots. So we're like one, like fucking zings off to the side you know yeah he's up there <clears throat> oh saw that one coming I'm like we didn't hit him once i'm like that shit was so unfair yeah he staged that whole thing he knew exactly what was doing yeah he Both fucked time he fucked us up though yeah so touche uncle kevin touche but Col i will never forget that you did that colby's still planning his revenge it'll happen mm -hmm. you know i've gotten a few good revenges that i didn't plan and it just happened with him like, one of which was he was like, I got to go pee. And he walked outside the shop, and I heard a doom, 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 doom. Oh, I'm yeah. like, I think Uncle Kevin just fell down. I opened the door, and sure as shit, he's laying on the ground with his hand on top of his case of beer, and he's facing the rocks. <laughs> Gets up, and his face is all bloody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, which you're going to have to talk about uh, your little shiner there here in a second, but first, oh, look yeah. at this, guys. We got our new koozies. Check them out. Hold my finger back so you can see it. Check them out. K Love yeah. Buy koozies. Now you can not only have a ice cold beverage, but you can drink in fucking style in front of your friends. In style. And then you can go ahead and share the QR code with people's. Like, hey, scan this QR code. It works. Go check out Colby and Brandon over on K Love You Buy. Yeah. Choose your poison. YouTube or audio. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, so anyway, so tell us about your little shiner there on Holy your fuck. fucking eye. I'll give you a good look, guys. Take it. Look at it. Yep. Yep. So fucking... Ryan's bachelor party. It was fucking great. Yeah. You think we, it was Colby's bachelor party? We had such a good time. Went to Sheboygan. But, uh, yeah, went to Sheboygan. Went out with... Uh, an awesome charter service. I, uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend Dumber Dan. Uh, they took us out uh, salmon and lake trout fishing on uh, Lake Michigan. Oh, fun. Yeah, it was cool, man. It's uh, been into fishing my whole life, done all sorts of different kinds of fishing. Uh, definitely a different animal that is worth going out and experiencing. It. I've, I've never, never nice. been a part of it. They, they fish totally different. Yeah, you yeah. know they have a good. They put a good fight up. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's some big boys in there. Yeah. It was. Uh, I mean, the first fish that I had on. I mean, I could tell right away it was a it was a big fish, but it came off when he handed the pole over. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we caught a couple good, couple big king salmon, and then uh, we caught some good uh, lake trout, and then my uncle Kevin caught one coho that was like a baby. It was like 14 inches. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one that was, because I saw the picture of all the fish. Is that the one that was in the mouth? In the, the mouth of the big, big one? one? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was the best, it's the best eating fish out of all of them we caught, it, apparently. The cohos apparently are like the best to eat. Oh, really? So, yeah, anyway, we went and uh, we did that, came back, we partied. Uh, and then the last night we were there, we decided to go out to the bars and, and hit it up and all over Sheboygan, they got those electric scooters where you like, you can get the app mm -hmm. and like scan the QR code and it unlocks it and you get to ride these electric scooters all over. So we spent the afternoon riding scooters. I rented two of them and talked to everybody into riding them and we were going all over hell. Then we went downtown to the bar. I got super fucked up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I can't tell if my... Well, I'm, let me, let me, I, I got super fucked up. Okay. That's, we'll just leave it at that. Really fucked up. 
we got back from the bars at like 1.30, and I think I had the bright idea of riding the scooter back into the bar. <laughs> yeah. So I talked my other buddy, Turtle, into getting on the scooter with me at 1.30 in the morning, yeah. and we headed down the road, and I was in no condition to be on an electric scooter. We got down the road a ways, and I think I kind of gave up on the idea before we got there, and I said, all right, let's just go back. So we turned around. And after that, I remember Turtle yelling curb. And then I remember Turtle standing over the top of me laughing. <laughs> and then I woke up the next morning going, what the fuck happened to my yeah. face? So long story short, I took a header off of a scooter because I hit a curb at like 18 mile an hour. Yeah. And you used Scorpion? That's, well, that's what I'm told. <laughs> you don't even remember it? I don't remember it, really. Yeah, so hence, that's why I shouldn't have been on a fucking scooter. Yeah. And what's funny is I have a ring, or not ring, but uh, what is that called? Blink? I have a Blink camera video, which I'll probably oh, post right in here, possibly. Yeah, dude. Of Colby, uh, when he got home, he was puking off of his <laughs> deck. He was like, oh, I don't puke. Now, we don't know if it's from the concussion that he Dude, probably had uh, or from all the alcohol, but no, regardless, it's funny. I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I'm 90% sure I got a concussion because yeah. I hit my head on so hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I was puking. Could be. Or it could be because you started drinking fucking whiskey and Cokes at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> there, there is that. There's a, or a combination of the two. You Dude, don't know. We'll Dude. never know. We played cards for an hour, and I I downed four fucking Gibson and Cokes mm -hmm. before we went to lunch. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. That's I was I was feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. I know I was feeling pretty good because my wallet was light, and I woke up with fucking a jacked up face. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh fuck, who hit me last <laughs> night?" <laughs> woke up and he was like, "I hope these guys tell me the other dude is way worse <laughs> off than I am." <laughs> Turns out he wasn't. <sighs> no, you can't fight concrete, and you oh. can't. You can't be Travis Pastrana on a scooter when you're drunk. No. So life lessons learned the hard way. If it's past midnight and you've been drinking, don't ride the rental scooters. Probably it is. Did it get fucked up? Well, you probably don't even know, huh? dude. I don't even know. I'm probably gonna get a bill in the mail I was gonna for say, a I'm fucked curious, up scooter. Like, if, it's, if it's all fucked up, if they're gonna charge you for it and shit or whatever. If but, they try to, I'm gonna fight it. It'd be like, you have no fucking proof. I'm like, there's cameras on these. We saw you wreck. I'm like, that wasn't me. What's it me, man? <laughs> that was some other bearded idiot. <laughs> fucking one thirty <laughs> in the morning. I hope, I hope I didn't fuck it up. I'd feel bad about it. Yeah, because I, I, I literally, I don't, I don't remember seeing the scooter the next morning. Yeah, who took him back? You can just park them. Okay, anywhere. 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 So, so, like, out in the middle of the woods, you'd be like, well, this is where I'm going to park my scooter. Well, you could, <laughs> but they all got GPS, and somebody goes around and, like, moves them to, like, them? charging areas and stuff. Hmm. But you just, you ride it to where you're going, and you park it and take a picture. And... Interesting. Yeah, I definitely don't think I took a picture. No, night. I doubt it. I doubt you parked it. I'm sure somebody, well, I don't know. No, I definitely got up and rode it back. We were quite a ways away from... When I wrecked. So I'm pretty sure I rode it all the way back to where we were staying. Hmm. So I don't know. Probably really slow. Like, I'm going to take this a little bit careful now. <laughs> no, knowing me, I got up and fucking gave her hell all the way back. Because <laughs> you're I'll fucking show this scooter. <laughs> you're dumb. Yeah, but you were hurting the next couple days. Probably still are hurting. Dude, motherfucker, I am still hurting. Yeah, you're, you're getting in your 30s now. You can't be doing shit like yeah, that. You're man. getting old. You know, they, nobody was fucking joking when they were talking about wait till you turn 30. And then like all these people are like, huh, that's cute. You're 30. Wait till you turn 50. Like I'm dreading 50. Dude, I'm fucking not okay with this fucking shit getting older. No. Because the way I feel right. I mean, granted, I took a full on fucking wreck at high speeds. Luckily, I lived and I bounced back from it. <laughs> but holy shit. That was what? Four days ago? 
Mm-hmm. I'm still my fucking elbow and shoulders a little fucked. <laughs> like <laughs> ten years ago, I would be like, "Oh, well, I didn't even know I wrecked last night." Yeah. So we need to we need to slow some shit down here because I don't I don't like getting older. No. Especially because my kids are getting older. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon, Corbin's going to be whooping your ass. Dude, he's been making fun of me for wrecking a scooter. I bet he has. And then you know what he, you know what he did? Mm. I went to drop him off at Camp Invention the other day. And he goes to get out of the Suburban, miss the curb, and fucking ate shit oh, yeah. on the concrete. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> and, and he immediately started crying. I was like, ha! How does it feel to hit the concrete, nerd? <laughs> Go invent something. <laughs> and then I picked him up and I gave him a hug. I was like, look, now you look like daddy. You got a scraped up elbow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's too yeah. perfect. Yeah, I know, right? Just like you. Ooh, I got the bubble guts, too. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start having to fucking take goddamn Metamucil and fucking. Probably you should, yeah. Yeah, you know, you're about that age, man. You're, you're at starting, that age. You got to start taking that Metamucil, you old bastard. Don't take care of yourself before yourself takes care of you. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So Ryan's bachelor party, it was good. We all had fun. Came home with fish. Came home with a bruiser in my eye. Did Ryan even get fucked up? Oh, yeah. We all got fucked up. I just oh. kind of got out of hand like I normally do. Yeah. It's to be expected. You seem to grow up a little bit. Just let let the past be the past. Let you, the, you know? Let the young party party or go. I told Jaden the other day, I was like, you know what? Why am I such a child? And she said, I don't know. I just watched a drop of water or whatever. <laughs> it was hanging on to your mustache there for a little while. Was it? Yeah, and then it, it like just dropped. And it like you ever watched um The Price is Right, that little plinko where they drop the thing and it yeah. fucking bing, 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 bing. That's what it did down your beard. It was like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> right at the bottom dude i hope the camera caught it because that would be fucking great yeah i don't know i did i could i looked at the can at the screen and i couldn't see it in your mustache so chances are not like i, I don't feel a wet spot it's gone now it's dropped on your well your pee hole my little gremlin in there probably was like oh i'm thirsty I'm so thirsty for all the food earlier <laughs> <laughs> yes giving me water in weeks some fucking culver's onion rings i ate today holy shit oh, yeah. talk about being a fat, gelatinous piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Dude, I need to stop. I felt so miserable today. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, yeah, that's Jesus, man. You need to <laughs> fucking fix yourself. You're yeah. a train wreck. Yes. Okay? I'm a train wreck. <laughs> always have been. Always will be. Yeah. Love me for me. My wife does. So you will too. <laughs> she show me her boobies. I like them too. <laughs> Vicky Balico, she show me her boobies, Vicky and Balico. I like those too. <laughs> ah, fucking always be one of my favorites. Water boy. Yeah, it was a good one. I saw it in the yeah. theater. I mean, my dad went and saw it, I think. Really? Yeah. God, when was that? When did that come out? It was like a long time ago. Yeah, it would have been like around like 2002, probably. Really? Yeah. I'll look it up. Fucking Tempe blew my mind the other day when he said fucking Step Brothers was like almost twenty years old. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> like that's like the worst when you, you there's something you a movie or a TV show that you used to watch. God, really? Hold on. Nineteen ninety eight. Really? Yeah. Wow. Twenty five years ago. Ooh. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. That's about right. Playing foosball with your friends. See that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. You can fucking look at something like that, like, oh yeah, I watched that in the movie theater. Yeah. Nineteen ninety-eight. What were you doing in ninety-eight? Uh I was in like seventh, eighth grade. Seventh grade. Broncos were winning Super Bowls back to back. Oh that nice. Much. Yeah. I was, I was living my best life at a young age. I was I was in third grade. Mm. Being a little kid. <laughs> a little, little kid. A little, little kid. Can't even tell you what so I you, was doing. You definitely didn't see Waterboy in theaters. I don't think I saw it in theaters. Mm-mm. I saw it right after it came out, though. Did you? Yeah. At home? On VHS, probably? Yeah. Ugh, I remember being at my cousin's wedding. 
and one of my older cousins, like it was like hot, just came out, mm -hmm. and we were walking around the reception the whole time. <laughs> I was following him around. He was like sixteen, and I was, you know, third grade. And I'm like, ah, it's my cool older cousin. You know, he's in high school, Billy. <laughs> we were walking around, and <laughs> every table at the wedding, he was like, my wo 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 wooden spoon, <laughs> and I'd be right there with him. Do what your coach t t t tells you. Like an idiot. Ah, such a good movie, though. Yeah, dude, I'm glad we talk about some of them good oldies like that. Yeah, I but forget it, about some of the movies until it's like they hit a rerun on a Wednesday night or something. Yeah, but fucking, God, it makes me sick. Night. It's got three stars. 1998, though, that just makes me feel like dude old. If it has three stars, it's because kids nowadays are insensitive little fucks and they have no idea what good humor is. Well, okay, so it's it's on IMDb and it's only got 171,000 votes, so yeah. Yeah. It's it yeah. Release that release 170,000 votes to a bunch of 35 to 40-year-olds. Oh and yeah. See how many stars it gets. Oh, for sure, yeah. Maybe quite a bit more. Yeah. Kids nowadays, man, they don't drink. They don't drink water out of a fucking outdoor spigot. You know, mm -hmm. garden hose at your neighbor's house. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if a lot of any. Yeah, nobody does that. You know anymore. what I mean? We used to fucking have like neighborhood Nerf gun or uh, like water gun fights, super mm -hmm. soaker fights, and we'd be running around the entire neighborhood, not stopping before we cross the roads. Like we would be like chasing each other across the roads, like. There's cars, collateral damage, motherfucker. I'm getting you. And then you'd like get everybody to be tired and we'd be at one house all reloading, garden hose, fucking, you know, so and so's Jake's mom around the corner is like, Jake, turn the goddamn spigot off. And you're like, all right, almost done, mom. You know, filling up your guns and we're like, oh, oh fuck. All right, we're good. Let's go. You know, <laughs> kids nowadays, they don't do that. They're like, hmm. My mom told me there's bacteria grows in that garden hose. Mm -hmm. You know, dude. When I, I don't, I just don't know. When I uh, bunch of people I know in, in Utah, when I used to live in Utah, they they do this game. Like even as adults, they do this game. They they'll you'll go in like the town. It's called cops and robbers. And you'll have uh, like two people in a car, and they'll drive around town. And you get a bunch of people, you start at one location, you try to get to another location, and they'll run around just going wherever they can go through town. And uh, and the people in the car have to try to, like, find them and catch them or whatever. And if you ca get caught, you go in the car, and uh, or you try to make it to the, the end. And if you make it to the end, then, you you know, you win or whatever. Dude, you play that as an adult, it's so fucking fun. Because it's like a, it's a busy town, you know? Yeah. So you got this car. <laughs> You don't know like who, what, what cars are what. It's middle of the night, yeah, <clears throat> and you're running through fucking people's yards and all kinds of shit. You know, so it's really fun. You know how hard that would be to get away with now. All the blink cameras and shit in people's yards, they'd be like, they people around there, they know what's going on. They know oh, what it is. Oh, this we played this fucking, I don't know, seven years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. No shit. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a game I'd be fucking good at, dude. It'd be fun. Except for like, I'd see the car, and the car would see me, and I'd take off running, and I'd run through like somebody's fence on accident. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'd have a fucking fucked up face and a cool story to tell about it. And Clear then, Lake would be a good place to to do it. Fuck yeah, it would. God, that'd be you have to get we a should, bunch of people to do it. We could or we should orchestrate it. Yeah, I'd get hurt though. I know for a fact it would. We could start. Uh, I don't know where we'd start, but end at like the seawall or something. Mm hmm. That'd be the the goal spot. Everyone starts in the surf parking lot, and you gotta get to the seawall. Uh, that's a little too close. Too close? Yeah. Start at the op. That's yeah, not that much farther away. That might work. Lions Field. Okay, there you go. Lions Field. So yeah. everyone's got a fucking leapfrog cross Highway 18. Yeah. Yeah. If you were smart, you'd sit it. You'd sit at like Ace Hardware. And they make Watch you make you gotta make it though where there's like certain boundaries you can't go past. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can't use like the whole town because then yeah, they're the car that would never hard. find anybody. Yeah, especially at night. Mm -hmm. Although I, around here there's a lot less traffic, so I can only imagine some some fucking 
hillbilly sitting in his backyard with all the lights off watching a bug zapper with a shotgun because <laughs> some guy just stole 20 bucks out of his car the night before. And you come running through his backyard playing this game, and he fucking shoots you dead. <laughs> like, well, I mean, you gotta you gotta pick and choose like where you going. Go. Boom! Got that <laughs> son of a bitch. Where's my twenty bucks? Play the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Yeah, that'd be fucking shit. Mm-hmm. A woman in Phoenix was uh, put in a coma. She she, she was in a she coma was in a coma. Got an accident years. or something or so. I don't know. You, there's more details, but she's been in a coma for 10 years and ended up pregnant in the care center. And there's individuals in the care center that are under investigation now. One guy. One guy. You want to see him? I want to see him. He's yes, a, I do. He's a real. I bet he looks like a real piece. Hold on. Hold on. Before you show me, I'm just going to take a little quick guess. Okay. I bet his hair is shitty and messy. It's not taken care of. I bet you he's got some sort of like a, he's probably severely overweight or somewhat of like a big guy. Mm -hmm. He probably isn't wearing that much, that nice of a professional like shirt. Oh, he can't get that into depth. Oh. You just see his face pretty much. Okay. So he definitely doesn't look professional. His hair is definitely not done. He looks like he's probably hasn't showered in a couple days. I bet you uh, if you put him in a lineup with a bunch of other creepers, somebody would pick him as a pedophile. Yeah, probably. Let me see. Oh, good fuck. Dude, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what I expected. <laughs> let's, yeah. Let's hear the story. Let's hear how it goes. Oh, well, he's 36. He was a LPN. Uh, he was there for, I don't know. He was, he's been there for a long time, I think. Um, Wait, hold on a second. What are you doing? Oh, hold on. Hold on. So she wasn't in a coma. What? No. Okay, so her... Weird. That's so weird. So her family made a statement that said, uh, we would like to make clear that our daughter is not in a coma. She has significant intellectual intellectual disabilities as a result of she's can't fucking talk mm. as a result of seizures uh, very early in her childhood. She does not speak, but has some ability to move her limbs, head and neck. Their daughter responds to sound and is able to make facial gestures. This makes it worse. I feel like even so uh, to make facial gestures. The important thing is that she is a beloved daughter, albeit, um, and you know, intellectual, intellectual disabilities. God, like that was, that was fucked Dude, that story was for the, fucked. with the coma yeah. thing to begin with, but holy shit, that's even more. And I guarantee this kind of shit happens more regularly. Oh my god, than you would think regularly. Well, okay, so like, all right, I mean, I'm not, I'm not taken away from like the coma thing, but at least in the coma situation, when you hear about something like this, the best thing you can think in your head is like whoever it was in the coma at least had zero recollection of yeah. anything that ever happened to them. Yeah, this girl was. This girl obviously was, was awake and knew what was going on, which is terrible mm -hmm. because she had to go through that. Yep. What That's a piece of shit. Public executions, bring them back. Dude. Okay, so if, if, you, if you are the kind of person that would do something like that, you should definitely stop watching us. Because we don't like you. If you what? If you're the kind of person that would do something like this, you should stop watching and listening to any of our stuff because we don't like you. And we will never like you. No. And if we meet you, we'll probably not do nice things to you. <laughs> so thanks for the follow and the like and the subscribe, but go ahead and take it all back and go watch somebody else. I'm trying to think of somebody who's shitty that they could go watch. Uh, jump off a bridge. <laughs> it's a great show. What you do is you get on a bridge and you jump off. And then it's just... <laughs> jump, jump. I thought there was a fucking podcast called Jump Off the Bridge. No. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Don't call and tell anybody that you're doing it first either. No. You shouldn't do that. See, I... But this... Uh, mind you, I'm not talking to everybody or anybody. I'm talking to the people... 
that would do what this guy did. Mm-hmm. If if you're sitting there in your head thinking, oh god, that'd be fun. Fuck you, fuck you. You are a piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Piece. She of, was, or she is. She is twenty nine. She's twenty nine years old. Wait a second. Hold on. That's twenty nine. This story is from two thousand nineteen. What? That can't be right, dude. You just told me this the other day. Yeah, I just I just saw it the other day. Hold on. Or is he getting this like, one? Now June twenty twenty three. I'm confused now. I am so fucking confused. What this the is the f- same story. What the fuck? Uh, I, I don't know because this one is this one is two twenty twenty three. Says she was just real she quick. Just gave birth. I want to apologize to everybody for not having her shit straight. Thanks, Brandon. Uh. <laughs> Well, I mean, first it was a coma, then it wasn't a coma, then it was three years ago, then it wasn't three years ago, now it's June. And What is it? Are you the one that did it? What? Are you trying to fucking hide your story? Shut up. Mm. This is this might I be know, a different story. Question. Well, because the other one was the same, I swear to God, it was the same fucking Hacienda Healthcare, Phoenix. The other one was from 2019, ha- I'm pretty sure it was Hacienda Healthcare in Phoenix. Are they just running a whole fucking Jesus? I don't know. Hold on. Hold hold on. All right, dude. We might we might have to start a fucking investigation podcast here and start digging into this Hacienda Healthcare. See, this is God. Don't take your kids or wife to Hacienda. Okay. This oh. this okay. <laughs> What's the lowdown? This this one says, 2000, January 23rd, 2019, Phoenix police arrest former nurse <laughs> after a woman in vegetative state gives birth. Okay. January 23rd, 2019. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, my God. I just fucking... Okay. The, the guy, Sutherland, had been a licensed practical nurse at Hacienda Healthcare in Phoenix since 2011. So that was reported in 2019. Yeah. Well, dude, so you're here. Yeah. Dude, this, are this you was, on fucking drugs? No. Yes. This was, <laughs> this was, <laughs> no. Yes. This was yes, 2019. Maybe. That's what the story was. Yeah. Written. 2019. Okay, 2019. What, what was up with the 2023? I'm going to pull it up right now. This is a, it's a lot shorter. It's not, not as much uh, detail. But it says maybe he's being. This has to be like the same story now. somehow. Maybe a woman who's been in a coma for ten years at the uh, healthcare center in Phoenix uh, was giving birth to a baby boy. The pregnancy, which led to the birth, has been concluded as a result of rape. Obviously, police have obtained DNA from male workers in the nursing home where the woman was staying. Um, the name of the nursing home was was Hacienda Healthcare, dude. Uh, another woman whose daughter is all another woman whose daughter is also at the uh, health care center said she had others who were scared because they don't know if the staff member or family member or even a stranger. They have we have no idea. She said this is different. It's got to be different. So there's multiple going on. At this I place. don't know for sure. I don't want to say that for sure, but damn. Hmm. Unless it's a different Hacienda health care in Dude. Phoenix. Dude, imagine being that that kid, like, mm-hmm. like the child, the the born baby, the born the born baby, the born baby. Remember or remember, remember when I was a born baby? I remember when Dude, I was a born baby. Imagine like growing up and being like, you know, asking questions like, "Who's my mom? Who's my dad?" Oh, oh. you know well, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I was gonna say. And you then, probably know his mom. And then well, event- his mom. eventually getting like the real story. Hmm. Being like, well, fuck. Well, my feelers are hurt. Yeah. Holy shit. I bet you there's a lot of that in the United States. Oh, I'm sure. Well, all over the world, even. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't even said United. The whole fucking world there has got to be. Mm-hmm. That's sad. It is sad. It's fucked up. We should do something. Why are people so fucked? We should do something to change that. Public execution <laughs> would yeah. help bring it down a little bit, I feel like. Colby. 2024 <laughs> doesn't even know what year it is <laughs> uh but i tell you what the uh, this is the end of the episode because we're out of time sir that all was... right make sure you uh we're gonna post a uh 
a uh, public announcement for my presidential candidacy for the uh, 2024 election. I'm running on the basis I'm bringing back public executions. That's it. That's his whole public everything. executions. I'm bringing them back, and we're going to make America safe again. <laughs> make America 2024, safe. Vote for Dick Kispat. Dick Kispat. I'll be your vice. Vice president there over here. <laughs> Vote it up. All right. I guess that's all the time uh, we have. That is all the time we have. Hey, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, joining us. Thank you. Uh, thanks for listening to my bullshit stories. Yeah, I hope you liked you know, our episode today. We'll see you next time. We love will you. see you next time. Love you guys. Fuck, Fuck you. Okay, love, love you. Bye. What was that? Not even a K love you. Bye. It says love you. I don't know why that came out like that. What the? Let's do over. K love you. Bye. One sec. Thanks, guys. No, I'm going to keep it in there. I'm going to keep the whole thing in there. Or, dude, I don't know why they came out like that. I don't know. Just go ahead. And I think you caught me off guard because I was taking a drink. Maybe go ahead and 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 do your your actual outro there. Your actual All right. Accent. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Love you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, okay love, love you. Me. Bye. <laughs> I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their Wrangler and fuck me fuck in the butt <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take two. I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have cowboy boots and carry around their pitchforks chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn all these girls have real nice butts and wear those wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> all right dude. uh pull chocks pull chocks Thank you.